Welcome to the official Travel Guide channel, where we bring you everything you need to know about the world's most exciting destinations. If you're looking for your next adventure, you're in luck, because today we're taking you on a journey to La Gomera. The natural areas of La Gomera are what give the island its mystical charm. In the breathtaking natural setting, explore endless hike routes, breathtaking vistas, and quaint little towns. Calm and wonderful, La Gomera dubbed Isla Magica is this magical island. At only 20 kilometers from north to south, it is the second smallest of the Canary Islands. The coast of this ecological gem is scattered with little beaches sandwiched between rocks. It is a haven for those who enjoy the outdoors and features a rocky coastline with a few modest black sand beaches. In just a few kilometers, you can go from palm-covered valleys to vast canyons, from dry coastal areas with great scuba diving waters to interesting leafy forests. La Gomera is a natural gem in the Canary Islands archipelago and is home to the La Garajene National Park and UNESCO World Heritage Site. We may find here a prehistoric landscape that has been shaped over millions of years, along with animals that are otherwise extinct in most places, dense forests, steep ravines, and much, much more. La Gomera, which is the second smallest and one of the most untouched of the Canary Islands, is a great place to go walking. Rugged mountains, earthen valleys, and fog-covered tropical trees make up the landscape. The principal city of St. Sebastian is located to the east of La Gomera. It's bordered by verdant valleys, beaches, and picturesque villages, despite being situated on rough mountainsides. St. Sebastian, the principal town, is a relaxed and charming destination with many cultural activities and a fantastic ferry in Yacht Harbor. The traditional settlements of Valle Gran Rey, one of the island's more well-known tourist sites, and other areas to the west of La Gomera are what make the area's terrain unique. The fabled Valle Gran Rey, where you can find a breathtaking valley that spreads out to the sea, has grown in popularity as a travel destination. Because it is subtropical, there are lots of tropic fruit trees and banana plantations. The weather. La Gomera enjoys a lovely subtropical climate with trade winds all year round. Although the fall and spring seasons are the most pleasant, you may come at any time of the year and be sure of the beautiful weather. Things to do and places to visit. La Gomera is another stunning island in the Canary Islands archipelago with a unique culture and a natural breathtaking beauty. Here are some suggestions for you to do and see in La Gomera. Garajene National Park a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This park is home to the largest and best preserved laurel forests in the world. It offers several hiking trails that showcase the park's stunning landscapes. On the Canary Islands of La Gomera, the Garajene National Park is waiting for you. Gorges cut through it and it is covered in laurel trees. The maze of green that greets you as you enter the park is a remnant of this prehistoric forest. A stunning setting where nature is the star will enchant you like a fairy tale. Outstanding among national parks is Garajene. The pleasure of exploring its tracks and trails is distinctive. On several roads that connect the island's ends, you may take in La Gomera's tranquility with unexpected excursions through the stunning scenery. Valle Gran Rey, a picturesque valley on the west coast island with beautiful beaches and a lively atmosphere. It is a great place to relax, swim, and enjoy local cuisine. The legendary Valle Gran Rey, where you can find a breathtaking valley that spreads out into the sea, has grown in popularity as a travel destination. Because it is subtropical, there are lots of tropical fruit trees and banana plantations. Several of the beaches on the island, including Charco del Cande and Beach de Angles, are located in the Valle Gran Rey. The Curve de Queso viewpoint which offers stunning views of the valley's ravines is just one of the amazing vantage sites you can find here. There is also the Cesar Manrique design Mirador del Pomergio, which has breathtaking views. The Aganos National Monument, one of La Gomera's most popular sites, is located in the Valle Gran Rey. This geological feature represents one of the most recognizable volcanic landscapes on La Gomera. The travel vlog suggests a tour which teaches you how to perform the shepherd's jump to have a greater sense of Grand Rays sceneries. The shepherds of La Gomera used to use this maneuver to navigate the island. Mirador de Abrante. 
This scenic lookout offers panoramic views of the valley and sea below and is a great place to enjoy a meal or drink. Due to its glass floor promenade, the Abrante viewpoint in the north of the island has grown to be a well-liked tourist destination in La Gomera. If you're not afraid of heights, you should definitely check it out. It's like floating above the breathtaking island scenery. Las Organos Natural Monument A stunning rock formation on the north coast of the island resembling a giant pipe organ. Only accessible by sea, this amazing site is 200 meters wide and 80 meters high with massive prismatic columns of basalt that extend beneath the surface of the ocean and down the cliff face. Everyone who sees it is in awe of this priceless masterpiece of natural architecture. It is a naturally occurring volcanic monument that can be found on Valhermoso's north coast. It gets its name from the way its columns resemble real pipes of a large organ. The greatest way to enjoy a day excursion when visiting La Gomera is to take the Benchy Express boat from Beach de Santiago to Valle Gran Rey. This is because one of its many charms which makes the visit a unique experience can only be seen from the water. One of the best instances of lava cooling in a crater with 150 hectare extensions is the natural monument of Los Organos. Nationally designated one of the natural emblems of La Gomera, Los Organos is one of the 18 wonders of Spain geographic in 2018. La Laguna Grande A crater lake in the center of the island, surrounded by lush vegetation and hiking trails. La Laguna Grande, a location of great telluric sensitivity, is located in the center of the Garagene National Park. People once performed ancient midnight rituals here. A recreation area is located in the clearing, which is surrounded by trees that are typical of the laurel forest. It is the ideal place to relax to the sound of birds while the kids play on swings, zip lines, and wooden slides. Ahulo, a charming village on the north coast of the island known for its beautiful architecture and cultural heritage. We find Ahulo in the north of the island, halfway between the Hermigua and Valhermosos valleys, and just over 30 minute drive from San Sebastian, the island's capital. A charming, attractive town full of culture, history, and nature where you can get away from it all and stroll through the excellently preserved historic district, or take in the views from the Abrante viewpoint, Roca Blanco, or the Garagene National Park. Ahulo was the first location on the island to have access to power, running water, a dock, and a crane for exporting goods to other countries. The moniker The Sweet of La Gomera refers to its current state as a little town that has been scrupulously maintained and has the most mouth-watering pastries and desserts. All of this is at the base of a large basalt rock wall, which forms a lush natural balcony over the sea. Alto de Garagene the highest point on the island, offering stunning views of the surrounding landscape. The Alto de Dergene is La Gomera's tallest mountain at 1,487 meters. You have a fantastic view of the island and the nearby islands when the visibility is good. La Gomera has four distinct vegetation zones and it is incredible to see the variety of flora that can be found at 1,487 meters. Moreover, the Ganchas, La Gomera's native population, are commemorated by the stone circle at the island's highest point. The Alto Garagene is situated in Valahermoso, Canary Islands, in the island of La Gomera Central Park. The name given to La Gomera's tallest and most significant mountain is Alto Garagene. Throughout history, this mountain has attained a tremendous deal of significance. They gave the mountain the name Garagene National Park because of its significance to the island's residents. The samples and evidence discovered on top of Alto Garagene may provide evidence that this mountain was formerly utilized for the performance of various sacrifices and rituals. Yet this wasn't the mountain's only usage. Evidence suggests that the locals also used it to defend themselves from various dangers and animals. Alto Garagene also went by the moniker El Bailadero because locals thought it was a gathering place for witches. For all these reasons, we might argue that this is one of the most serene locations for taking in the scenery. Every year, thousands of people travel to Alto Garagene. Don't skip your visit to this location if you're in La Gomera. You might choose to hire a car to get there or take one of the many trails from which you can take in the scenery. No matter which option you choose, we are confident that the breathtaking scenery that can be seen from this location will awe you. San Sebastian de la Gomera One of the most significant urban centers on the island is San Sebastian de la Gomera. 
which serves as its capital. There is a lot of history and peace here, even though there are no big retail chains or resorts. It is without a doubt one of the top 10 attractions of La Gomera. The capital city of La Gomera is home to one of the island's top attractions. Columbus's voyages to America are chronicled in an exhibit at the Casa de la Guada, and it is thought that he used water from La Gomera to bless the New World. Visit the Archaeological Museum of La Gomera to discover more about the cultural, historical, and archaeological facets of the island. This is another great activity to do in the capital of La Gomera. I also advise visiting the House de Bencomo to comprehend La Gomera's geological history. Together with several ancient structures like the Torre del Conde and the Hermitage of San Sebastian, this city is home to various typical farmhouses like La Laja, Vegepala, and Tijet. There are also several beaches, some of which are beautiful but also remote and challenging to reach. Playa del Inglés and other beaches. The La Gomera's Beach del Inglés is reputed to be one of the island's top beaches. The beach is uncovered and is situated in the western region of the island's Valle Gran Rey. D despite this, the tranquil waters make it a soothing location for the whole family. In addition, there are numerous other pristine beaches in this region of the valley. However, some of them are inaccessible without a boat. Another great location to explore in La Gomera is Santiago Beach. It's regarded as one of the nicest beaches on the island because of how calm the seas are. The ideal location for diving or snorkeling also has a number of caverns and a complex seafloor. As kayaking is also popular here, you may rent a kayak and all the appropriate gear if you want to give it a try. Other beaches you should visit in La Gomera are La Calera, which is well liked by families with children due to its lovely seas and services, Black Beach, which is accessible only by foot, and Avalo Beach, which has a tranquil surf and volcanic black sand. You can see that the island has a lot of lovely beaches, so you won't have any trouble locating a fantastic spot for swimming, surfing, or sunbathing. When planning your trip to La Gomera, we recommend consulting travel guides such as Lonely Planet, TripAdvisor, or Rough Guides. These guides can provide up-to-date information on the island's attractions, accommodation options, and restaurants. Additionally, you might want to consider hiring a tour guide. Have you visited La Gomera? Please feel free to share your experience in the comments area. We hope you enjoy our video about La Gomera. Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. Please stick with us for more travel guide videos. Travel Guide Channel makes your travel easy.